to Ridenauer, who has an easy drive and a one-hand stick. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Golden Flashes TV. I'm Ty Linder. You know, Kent State of Bowling Green have been around since 1910, and in basketball, they've been playing one another for 100 years. Add this one to a list of instant classics tonight. To the highlights we go. Seven to shoot for Edwin as he skips into the lane, leans in, and banks it in off the window, and the Golden Flashes are in flight. This lead this time down. Game tied at four. Deep Pippen creates some space as he shuffles along the baseline. It's With some firepower to match what Bowling Green will bring in. De La Rosa. They are feeling it offensively. Hall down the lane somehow. He's ahead to De Deion Edwin on his left. Into the corner. Peterson's three. And that's a quick five for Kent State. Right. To pass to Zabo near side. Three going up and in. Yeah. I'd almost consider that a four-point swing. Missed front end of a yep. one and one. And then Elsevier knocks that down at the other end. Edwin has come to play tonight. He steps it to Zabo. Flashes down by eight. Zabo all the way has laid it in. To Ridenauer who has an easy drive and a one-hand stick. And on the free throw line out to Zabo. Pops the three, and he is going to get the bounce to oh. drop. And good. It's a one-point game, and they get a two-for-one. The Golden Flashes were playing catch-up for the most part in the first half and eventually went on a 14-4 run because they played turnover-free over the last four minutes. Trailing by three at halftime, the Golden Flashes came out with a flourish in the second half, led by Jalen Walker, who ended this game with 18 points, all of them in the second half or overtime. Now, while Bowling Green was busy locking down on Jimmy Hall, the Golden Flashes also got 12 points from Deion Edwin, 17 from Kevin Zabo, who was fantastic before leaving with an injury in overtime. Zabo on a drive, ties it on a high kiss. The Golden Flashes actually took their biggest lead in overtime, a four point separation at 83-79, and with 20 seconds left, looked like a cinch to get a critical home victory. The Falcons immediately hit a three to draw to within one, and then the Golden Flashes, a costly turnover, led to two final Bowling Green points as KSU's final chance of a shot and a game winner did not get off in time. The two walkers and Avery on the floor. Manley was the hero here against the Falcons a couple of years ago. Here we go. Ridenauer looks, he looks. Jalen catches, it's away, it will not count. They say he did That's get it off. They say he didn't get it off. Wow. The Golden Flashes now have to go back on the road to try to get this game back. They go to Toledo on Saturday. For all of us on the Kent State Radio Network and Golden Flashes TV, I'm Ty Linder. Good night from the Mac Center.